This month marks one year since Sears announced it would be closing its Tuscaloosa store. A year later, the store now sits empty as the holiday shopping season approaches. I believe the Sears employees were hoping they could make it through one more Christmas, possibly, but, you know, just didn't happen. The loss is evident as you pass by University Mall on McFarland Boulevard. Belk and J.C. Penney are the only remaining anchor stores. It's not a unique situation for us, but it's it's sad. You know, I grew up at Sears my entire life. You know, um, and to see just that brand, see that brand gone, um, it's 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 sad. And then plus all the loss of jobs as well. Councilman Tyner is encouraging local shoppers to actually shop in the mall this holiday season to keep even more stores from closing. He says the city of Tuscaloosa lost 20 percent in sales tax revenue in 2017 to online shopping. He's hopeful better days are ahead. It's kind of like a, a trend. It's kind of like, you know, the fashions, what you know may not be fashionable today. You know, keep that coat in your, in your closet because you're going to come back around and, and be able to wear some of those types of clothes again. It's, I think the malls will make a comeback. And there are already signs of progress around the mall. The old Bruno's grocery store next door is being transformed into a new entertainment center with a bowling alley. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. And we reached out to University Mall to see what's planned for the old Sears. We'll let you know when we hear back. On this